Hey guys, my name is Christian Taylor. Welcome back to Crayler Made, where I like to talk about all things branding, marketing, and entrepreneurship. Today I'll be covering a highly requested topic. Which service is best for email marketing? This video has a twist, because I'll specifically be focusing on the best free email marketing software. I think oftentimes when starting a business, you may think about an email list and email marketing, but you might start thinking of it as something that's expensive and a huge hassle. In this video, I want to explore good free options for email marketing. During this time when many are starting a business just to get by, it's nice to keep your startup costs as low as possible. You don't need to spend money to start with email marketing. In fact, I've never spent a penny on email marketing this far in my entrepreneurship career. I'll disclose my bias right up front. I've been using MailChimp's free plan for years and feel it's a great option for email marketing, but I'll be comparing it to some other truly free options. There's other popular services out there like Constant Contact and Campaign Monitor, but these services don't have a truly free option. Instead, they offer a free trial where you can maybe try it for a month, but it's not really a free service. You're gonna have to pay for service, so everything featured in this video offers a forever free plan that you can use for infinity infinity and beyond. So what can you really get for free? Taking a look at the stats, MailChimp offers the most bang for its $0 price tag. You can have up to 2,000 contacts and send 10,000 emails per month, with a cap of 2,000 emails per day. Aweber gives you 500 contacts free and 3,000 email sends per month, and Send in Blue offers you unlimited contacts with 300 emails sent per day. This is interesting, because you could theoretically send the same email to a different group of contacts each day to send out up to 2,100 unique emails per week. In reality, this amounts to a maximum of about 9,000 emails per month that you can send, so it ends up being a worse package than MailChimp. It's clear here that MailChimp has the best package numbers wise, but how is the functionality? Looking at the panel and the drag and drop email builder, MailChimp takes the lead once again. They've got a clean and simple panel, and it seems like they're always making tweaks or UI changes to keep it as modern as possible. The drag and drop builder has everything you need to put together a nice looking email. One of my biggest gripes with the MailChimp email builder is the fact that you have to edit text in a text box on the sidebar. You can't just click the text inside the text block and edit the text there. It's not a big deal for me. The website builder card has a similar functionality, but it's a quirky design that often confuses less tech savvy users. It's kind of like when you're building a drag and drop website, you would think you could just click on the element backspace and change the text and, and do it right there, but it's like in another box off to the side. Aweber and Send in Blue both have a relatively plain management panel. It's perfectly functional, but the theming and UI elements are just bland. However, the drag and drop editors are a different story. They allow you to click directly into text block elements and edit the text on the spot. That seems to be the only advantage though. I faced a lot of confusion with Aweber and Send in Blue figuring out how to actually send the email out. When I'm done designing it, where's the send button? How do I go to the next step? With MailChimp, it's an easy and simple process to get your emails sent. With Aweber and Send in Blue, it's not too hard to get to the drag and drop email builder, but for some reason, just getting from there to actually getting the email sent seems way more convoluted than it should be. Overall, all of these services are capable of building professional HTML based emails. I find that MailChimp offers the overall best experience. They have a mobile app that lets you build emails and landing pages directly from your phone or tablet, something that Aweber and Send in Blue lack. One consideration when picking an email service is API support. MailChimp, Aweber, and Sendinblue all offer an adequate API if you code and want to make a custom solution to integrate with your software. But what about existing API integrations? What about contact forms or exit intent pop-up plugins for WordPress? I found that MailChimp and Aweber are typically always supported, but the lesser known companies like Sendinblue sometimes are not. Sumo, for example, my exit intent pop-up plugin of choice, does support MailChimp and Aweber to subscribe visitors to your list, but Send in Blue is nowhere to be found. MailChimp and Aweber have plugins available to integrate with Contact Form 7, so when someone fills out a contact form on your website, you have the option of subscribing them to your email list automatically. 
With Sun and Blue, it's technically possible, but you need a paid plugin called WP Fusion to bridge the gap and make the integration work. So you're already running into some costs with the free service. All three email services offer basic levels of automation. So you can have a sequence of emails automatically sent to new subscribers, set up an RSS feed to automatically email your subscribers when you put out a new blog post, and more. This is not the most in-depth comparison, but it's clear that MailChimp has the edge for a free email marketing solution. You get a clean and simple panel, you can do just about everything on your phone or tablet with the mobile app, you can access API integrations with every marketing software known to man, and on top of that, you get the most generous free limit out of all the three free plans listed here. So is there a reason to explore anything other than MailChimp? Should everyone simply default to it? Honestly, in most cases, I'd say yes, but obviously it's not going to be a fit for everyone, and I think something worth considering is the upgrade path. In other words, what will it cost when you outgrow the free plan? MailChimp's paid offerings are extremely confusing. They have three different tiers of plans, and each tier scales based on how many subscribers your list has. And they all have email send limits with overage fees if you send more. I'm getting close to needing to upgrade one of my MailChimp accounts since it's about to hit the 2,000 contact limit. And the pricing is so confusing that I've considered switching to a different platform entirely. Aweber is more straightforward, giving you one simple pro plan that scales based on your subscribers. The base plan is $29 a month for up to 2,500 subscribers, and the price goes up from there depending on the size of your list. Aweber Pro gives you unlimited email sends and access to every feature they offer. There's no games of paying overage charges and being confused by which features you do and don't have access to with your plan like you deal with at MailChimp. My only beef with Aweber is the fact that their comparison page highlights the pro plan having unlimited subscribers when you go to upgrade. Nowhere on the page do they mention that you have to pay for a more expensive plan the more subscribers you have. They make it seem like the base $29 a month plan will give you unlimited subscribers, and this is definitely misleading. Send in Blue is hands down the best value, offering 40,000 email sends per month with no contact limit for $25 a month month. Send and Blue does upsell features and have higher tiers of plans at a higher price point, but there's still no confusion or deception on caps and limits like you get with MailChimp or even Aweber, referring to the whole unlimited contacts thing. So if you find you like the features of Send and Blue, it definitely has a wonderful upgrade path. Also, I thought I'd mention that Send and Blue does offer some exclusive features like free SMS marketing or use as a transactional email service. I'm not going to get into those topics in this video, but if you're interested in either one of those, drop a comment below. Maybe I'll make a video on it. So I definitely recommend MailChimp if you need a free email marketing solution. It has everything you need to do email marketing effectively. However, if you anticipate your list will grow extremely fast and you aren't comfortable with the thought of transferring your contacts and API integrations to a new platform, you might want to explore a different solution with a more desirable upgrade path. Of course, there's always the case that you could be happy to pay for MailChimp services when it comes to that point, and if that's the case, that's great. I do think that MailChimp offers a great product that is definitely worth paying for, but it all depends on where you're at with your business, what your budget is, and how important email marketing is for your sales flow. So what free email marketing system do you use? I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments down below, and if you like this video, do be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you don't miss when I release new videos. With that said, I will catch you guys next time.